What's up everyone, Tommy with Studio Sins here. How are you feeling today? Having a good day so far? I hope that you are and I hope your day gets better and I hope that I am part of it, part of that process because today's video is going to hopefully do three things that I want to accomplish. I want to save you time, save you money, and give you some great gift ideas for the upcoming Christmas holiday. Now I know it's typically a time of pressure even as it's supposed to be time to get together with your family, but it is a holiday and it's a gift giving holiday and so you have that whole gift giving conundrum you know what are you going to get for everybody you know what does everybody like fragrances make great gifts after this brief intro we're going to dig into ways to save you money and give you some fragrance alternatives that and more is coming your way so stay tuned welcome back everyone Today, I'm gonna to be showing you five ways for five fragrances and thus five ways that you can save time and money. Now, there are five fragrances out there that are very popular. They can be a bit costly as a result of that popularity. We're gonna take each one of these fragrances in turn and then I'm gonna show you some alternatives that smell very, very similar, extremely inexpensive. So it's gonna save you not only money, but time in trying to find something similar to this popular fragrance. The first popular designer fragrance I wanna show you an alternative for is going to be Paco Rabanne's Pure Excess. Now true, Pure Excess isn't super expensive, but when it comes to saving money, does it really matter how much money that you're saving? I will save you a lot on this one because there is an alternative that not only does it smell just like it, but it actually performs, kind of outperforms Pure Excess. Pure Excess is one of the better Paco Rabanne fragrances. It's very seductive and sultry. It has that kind of sexy date night side, but it also has that versatility for utilitarian use in terms of everyday fragrance use. It's a very spicy, warm, great for cooler weather. Depending upon the discounter, Pure Excess will run anywhere from $50 to $70 for a 100 ml bottle. So what is a fragrance that is similar, or in this case exactly alike, that is much cheaper that makes a great gift? Well, it is a fragrance by the house Paris Blue. It was made to be a clone of Pure Excess and they did a fantastic job. It is called Space Time. Kind of an odd name for it, but the presentation is really nice. There are actually a couple things about Space Time that I like over Pure Excess. First of all, I know it's part of the form factor of Pure Excess that the lid pops up like a Zippo lighter. Really makes spraying it on kind of like, you can, you can spray it on, you can turn the nozzle a little bit, but it's still super awkward. To do that it's not a huge negative with space time there's nothing to, there's, there's no lid to take off there's no direction you need to point anything you just now this opens with lemon lime cinnamon and cardamom the heart is apple thyme amber and cedar wood there's vetiver tobacco white musk and vanilla in the base guys you will be shocked at how much this smells like pure excess and again it actually outperforms it you would expect something like this to cost in the 20s or 30s you can get it for 15 dollars for a 100 ml bottle no i'm not kidding and no it's not generic it's an excellent alternative to pure excess for 15 bucks space time of paris blue the next fragrance alternative to a popular fragrance i would like to talk about is the ever popular Blue de Chanel. Now Blue de Chanel is an amazing fragrance and for any fragrance aficionado out there, if you are able to afford it, absolutely. But if you have three or four people that you have to purchase items for, that can get quite expensive. At the very minimum, this is gonna be around $100, typically within $100 to $150 for a 100 ml bottle. So there are a ton of clones out there though and a lot of those clones aren't that great or they just smell very synthetic. Well, there is a clone of Blue de Chanel that actually is a very high quality. It's called Yes, I Am the King by Japarlis. Japarlis is a European house with a ton of experience behind them and their fragrances prove it. Being a clone, of course, you expect it to smell very similar. It has everything that you like about Blue de Chanel. The opening actually lasts a bit longer before it starts deepening, darkening into more of a frankincense aquatic. Yes, I Am the King has a great presentation as well. It has a magnetic lid that is very high quality, not just one of those that barely has a little magnetic piece inside of it. You can hold up the entire bottle by the lid. Looks like a quality fragrance, smells like a quality fragrance. It opens with burger bergamot, orange, apple, and grapefruit, so very fruit forward. You've got elemi resin, lavender, geranium, and the base you've got ambergris, you've got patchouli, vetiver, and a little heavier musk. It smells amazingly similar as a clone to Blue de Chanel, but smells like a very high quality 
clone, you can get a 100ml bottle for $33. So you can buy three of these as a fragrance gift and still not arrive at the sum of a single bottle of Bleu de Chanel. Yes, I Am the King by Japarli's. The next popular fragrance that I'd like to offer cheaper alternatives to is one of my favorites by Carolina Herrera. Not only in the very cool presentation, but I just really like the overall fragrance style. It's Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy, The Lightning Bolt. A Bad Boy is a very spicy, peppery, great all-around signature scent, and there are quite a few clones out there. Some of them get it right, some of them don't. Again, depending on your discounter, Bad Boy can run anywhere from 70 to 80 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. There are a couple of clones for Bad Boy that I like to recommend. Now, these I actually wear, okay, and I usually don't wear clones, and I usually don't even recommend purchasing clones. If you can afford the fragrance, just get the fragrance. But again, as a gift and as an alternative, I definitely stand behind these. Again, turning to Japarli's for a high quality clone, Yes, I Am The King Lion. Now, I've talked about this fragrance multiple times on my channel. It's one of those that's been typically hard to find. They are back in stock at FragranceNet.com. I saw it just the other day, and so I thought, you know what? Now would be a good time to talk about it again because it's such a great quality fragrance and clone. Several benefits to this over other clones. It's a eau de parfum concentration. It does have the same magnetic lid as Yes, I Am The King. So the presentation is exactly the same, except there's a lion here. Super peppery, super powerful, very masculine, and it actually outperforms Bad Boy. Now that's not necessarily saying a lot because Bad Boy isn't a 12 hour fragrance. But with the heavier concentration of oils, it does actually outperform. And you can get a 100 ml bottle for about 35 bucks right now at FragranceNet.com. Yes, I am the King Lion. Now, the second clone of Bad Boy that I can wholeheartedly recommend because I myself wear it is actually from Japarli's called Be Seduced Boy. <laughs> I guess it's another way of saying Bad Boy, Be Seduced Boy. I don't know. Uh, it's an obvious Bad Boy clone, and not only in the name, but also in the overall tonal quality. Now, this one isn't quite as peppery as Yes, I Am the King Lion. Yes, I Am the King Lion is definitely going to be my go-to when it comes to the highest quality clone of Bad Boy. This one would be very close as a second. However, right now you can get a 100ml bottle of Be Seduced Boy for under 15 bucks at the Perfume Spot. Pretty cool discounter website. One of my favorite recent new releases from Zadig and Voltaire is a fragrance called This Is Love Poor Louis. This Is Love Poor Louis is a flanker of this is him which is another great fragrance and it carries that same very cool very rich very distinctive dna and it's primarily an orange blossom and sandalwood dynamic duo of a fragrance now this one will cost you anywhere from 60 to 75 bucks depending upon the discounter for a 100 ml bottle and it is sometimes hard to find there is a fragrance alternative to this is love poor louis that's been around for quite some time i think since 2008 but it's kind of experiencing somewhat of a comeback it is ed hardy's tiger ink Tiger Ink is probably a fragrance that you've never seen, never heard of. It's one of those very kind of obscure older releases that didn't get a lot of limelight. Tiger Ink is a unisex fragrance. It's got saffron, amber, vanilla, bergamot, mandarin orange, clary sage, a bit of mint, and some heavier musks. Tiger Ink is super inexpensive. It only comes in a one ounce bottle, so it is quite small, but there is a benefit to that. You want to carry this with you. You can get a one ounce bottle for $13.50, very inexpensive. So you, you go from 70 to 80 bucks down to $13.50, you can, you can purchase multiples of these. It smells very similar to This Is Love Poor Louis, but it has a performance challenge. In terms of projection, it does decently well. It's a softer fragrance, similar to This Is Love Poor Louis, a bit of a softer fragrance. But the benefit of having a small bottle like this is you definitely want to carry it with you. You cannot overspray Tiger Ink. It is meant to carry on your person. It is meant to spray on anytime, whenever you want. As long as you carry Tiger Ink with you, you're going to smell like Tiger Ink. Spray it on. For the next 20, 30, 45 minute activity, you're going to be golden. But after that, you definitely, again, that's why you want to carry it with you because you want to reapply it multiple times throughout your day. You don't necessarily have to do that for This Is Love, poor Louis, but again, you're going to be saving tons of money and it makes a great gift because it's small and can be packaged with other things or by itself. Tiger Ink by Ed Hardy. The last popular fragrance I'd like to offer a cheaper alternative to is one of my favorites and no doubt one of your favorites by Dolce & Gabbana it is light blue forever 
the very hyper-realistic grapefruit. Now, what could possibly be as good as light blue forever? Well, I'm not necessarily saying it's as good, but it's very, very similar. The light blue forever isn't super expensive, and if you can afford it, I recommend purchasing it. But again, if you're purchasing for multiple people, you're gonna wanna get this instead. 60 to $70 for a 100 ml bottle is what you're looking at for Light Blue Forever by Dolce & Gabbana. The alternative that I'm recommending is by Sean John. It is I Am King. It has a surprisingly similar scent profile. It's due mainly to the combination of cranberry, lemon, tangerine, and orange, which is how it opens. But these fruity fragrance notes are done so well, are blended so well, so tart and sweet, that they actually last throughout the life of the fragrance. Sandalwood, vetiver, cedar, oak moss, a currant leaf. There's even a seawater note to kind of mimic the aquatic feel of Light Blue Forever. It doesn't have that, of course, super powerful grapefruit pungency about it that Light Blue Forever is known for, but you're not purchasing it for that. You're purchasing it for the similarity to Light Blue Forever and the price. This isn't a 100 ml bottle, but you can get a 100 ml bottle for less than 25 bucks, around $22, $23. Sean John, I am king a great alternative to Light Blue Forever by Dolce & Gabbana. All right, guys, that puts a wrap on five popular fragrances and their cheaper alternatives. I hope I've at least kind of started the motors turning there and the gears turning in terms of giving you some ideas for some very inexpensive yet high quality fragrance options for gifts. So you don't want to give somebody that you care about a, a crappy gift, you know, that they're going to end up either taking back or re-gifting, you know, repurposing it for somebody else. You want them to have something that you stand by. And I stand by each one of these because I own them and I use them. Now, if you own any of the fragrances that we talked about today, I definitely want to hear your thoughts on each one of these. Or if you know of other fragrances that have cheaper alternatives to them that you found to be of really good quality, that you can recommend let us know what those are too in the comments below guys thanks so much for stopping by and checking out today's video and as always thank you so much for your support on my channel i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you tomorrow